Hello and welcome to the first video on how to track cost variance. In this video, we are going to focus on work resources that are people and equipment. Project already has three scenarios that can happen in the real life. The first scenario is increase the amount of work but keep the same tax duration, that is the default option. Second scenario, reduce the duration but keep the same work. And third, duration, third scenario, reduce the hours resources work per day but keep the same duration and work. So let's get started. And first, let's see what happens when we don't have a variance, when everything goes as we plan. So we have a project for asset inventory and the plan is that all this work will be done by only one person, that will be Albert. As we finish the planning, we need to set the baseline. If we don't set the baseline, we cannot track the variance. In the other files that I will open, the baseline is already set with the step that I just did. And also, we need to tell project that we completed the work here in tax schedule, 100%. So let's see how the report looks when we don't have a variance. The cost of the project will be $800 and the cost of each tax, $160 because the rate of Alvaro is $20 and he works eight hours per day. And here, the um, the cost of the task is the same than the baseline, that is $160. And let's see other reports. Let's see cost overruns here. And cost, cost overrun. Here we will see the, the variance related to the resources, the cost of the resources. But in this case, like we don't have variance, we don't have anything to report here, right? So let's uh, start introducing some variance. And we will work with the default scenario here. So we will assign a second resource that will be Victor. And here in the exclamation mark, we have the options I was telling you about. And the default one is this one, increase the amount of work, but keep the same duration. Okay, so this, mean, this means that the task, the work, is more difficult to do than what we thought. That's why we need another person to come and help Alvaro. So they will work a full time in this task. So we expect to see that the cost increase the double and we have to let project know the work is completed. And let's see. The cost overview. As we expected, the cost has doubled. And we have a cost variance per each task, $160. And here we can also see the cost doubled for each task. And for the resources, Alvaro didn't have any variance, but Victor has $800 variance because he was not planned to, to work, right? As we can see here as well. Now let's look second scenario. Okay, let's assign here Victor. And Choose the first option, reduce duration, but keep the same amount of work. Okay. So as we see here, the duration now is half a day. This means that the, the tax is the same complexity that we saw. So if we put two people to work, they can complete the task in the half of the time, 
right? So instead of finish by Friday, they will finish by Wednesday. So they are doing faster. They are doing faster the work. Okay, so here we see they are finishing by Wednesday and as the work is the same, we expect to have the same cost. So let's do 400% here and let's see the cost. Okay, it's the same. Same cost, no variance. And um, let's see here in the resources we have a variance, right? Because we added Victor. But the difference is that now Alvaro is working less time, right? So Alvaro is hundred is working minus four hundred dollars, mm -hmm. and Victor plus four hundred. So, but the cost is the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go to the next scenario. Scenario three. And in this scenario, we will do something different. To have a positive variance, this is like a savings. I put here, Victor will do the work for $15 and Alvaro for $20. So when we assign work to Victor and we take out from Alvaro, we expect to have some savings. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, we are in the scenario three. And let's assign Victor. Okay, Victor. And third option, reduce the hour resources work per day, but keep the same duration and work. And the last one. Okay. And we have to tell project the work is completed. Okay. And let's see the report. We expect to have savings. Okay. So we save a hundred dollars here because now the cost of the tax for Victor is $140. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit less than the baseline. And um, here let's see the resources. Mm -hmm. So we completed the same work with less money because we are using a resource that is less expensive. We can see here. Okay, well, that's everything for this video. And thank you for watching. And in the next video, we will keep working on cost variance. Have a great day.